the North Gefeld, named after the Schlafrecken, was a French dare-to-wing experimental research aircraft that played a crucial role in advancing aviation technology in post-war Europe. Developed in the early 1950s, the North Gefeld holds the distinction of being the first European aircraft to exceed Mark 1 in level flight without the use of an afterburner. This remarkable achievement highlighted France's resurgence in aeronautical engineering and set the stage for future innovations. In the aftermath of World War II, the French aircraft industry was significantly lagging behind its British and American counterparts. Despite this setback, the late 1940s and 1950s saw a revival of French aviation marked by a series of state-sponsored prototype and research aircraft. Among these was the North 1402 Gofold, designed to explore the aerodynamics and behavior of dart wings at high speeds. The Gefau 1 first took to the skies on 15 of January 1954. This single seat aircraft featured a distinctive dare to wing configuration, which was a relatively new and exotic design at that time. The dare to wing provided excellent high speed performance and stability, making it ideal for transonic flight research. Powered by Snigma Atta 101B turbojet engine, the GF-1 achieved a historic milestone on 3rd of August 1954, becoming the first European aircraft to exceed Mark 1 in level flight without afterburning. After its initial success, the GF-1 underwent several upgrades resulting in the 1402B GF-1B configuration. This modified version first flew on 17 of December 1954 and soon demonstrated its enhanced capabilities. In early 1955, the GF-1B reached a speed of Mark 1.2 at an altitude of 15,240 meters, equivalent to 50,000 feet. On 26 October of the same year, it achieved Mark 1.3 in a steep dive from the same altitude. These impressive performances underscore the aircraft's ability to operate effectively in the transonic regime. The GF-1B also contributed to missile testing notably serving as a platform for captive carry tests of the North AA-20 air-to-air missile in May 1956. Following these tests, the aircraft was relegated to a chase plane role for the North 15,000 Griffin, another experimental aircraft. The GF-1B made its final flight on 2nd of July 1959. The second aircraft in the series, the 1405 GF-2, incorporated several improvements over its predecessor. Slightly lengthened to improve fuel capacity and transonic aerodynamics, the GF-2 featured a clipped delta wing of the same area as the GF-1B and was powered by a more powerful 38 kN Anta 101F engine. This variant first flew on 17 of April 1956 and reached a maximum speed of Mark 1.13 in level flight. The GF-02 was renowned for its excellent rate of climb, setting multiple world records for time to altitude from a standing start. In June 1956, it pulled from demonstrations at the Paris Air Show showcasing its capabilities to an international audience. The aircraft also conducted supersonic missile launch tests 
including launches of the AA-20 at speeds up to Mark 1.35. Subsequent upgrades included the installation of a more powerful Antar 101G turbojet engine and various air-to-air -air radar systems. In May 1958, the gf 2 was fitted with an Allerton radar system, followed by an IDA system. These modifications allowed the aircraft to participate in advanced radar and missile testing. The North Gare program significantly advanced French aviation technology during a critical period of post-war recovery and innovation. The aircraft's groundbreaking achievements in supersonic flight and missile testing provided valuable data and experience that influenced the design of subsequent French military and research aircraft. Both GFO prototypes were retired from active service in 1959 and were subsequently used as targets at the military test range at Casos. Despite their relatively short operational careers, the North GFO 1 and 2 left a lasting legacy of pioneers of supersonic flight and transonic research in Europe. Their contributions led the groundwork for future advancements in French aeronautical engineering, helping to re-establish France as a leader in the global aviation industry. <laughs>